So for the release of this plugin, I thought, well, how better to showcase it and actually put it into a session with actual songs. So I decided to write three individual tunes for this particular release. Um, one's kind of like a heavy, riffy, driven track. Another is like more of a sort of full band ballad type thing. And then uh, the last one is just kind of a very stripped down version of, say, like what I initially did with uh, Sky Dreams, but just like a, uh, another version of that, just to showcase some of the more uh, clean tones of the plugin. So basically what I've done is I've printed off all of the stems for each of those songs, which you'll be able to get yourselves. I just want to look at the, the mastering section on this, because obviously like with some videos, you would be like, yeah, um, you know, it sounds really good, but how much of that has actually been mastered or whatever. I've literally just on this stereo output of Cubase got um, a Pro L on there and I've just boosted it up like 15 dB just to give it like a competitive volume next to say like, I don't know, a commercial sounding record or whatever. But that's literally it. So the drums and bass just together. So that's pretty much what you'll be getting in uh, in all the stems. Um, so basically what I want to do is but I'm just going to take the plugin off of this stereo guitar track. So basically it's just rhythm DIs. <laughs> Basically, the signal chain for that was my um, Kiesel Signature AJ model into a Focusrite 6i6. So I just plugged straight into the, the front end and then just captured the DIs in Cubase. So I just want to open up uh, an instance of the plugin and just put it on a preset. And then hope you can just see how it slots in without really having to do anything, which is kind of the idea, really. It makes my life a hell of a lot easier just being able to have that. So if we go to amp one. So here's the rhythm DIs, just straight into the plugin, nothing else. So right off the bat, really easy, usable tone. Uh, and then we're just gonna add in the drums and bass as well so you can see how it sounds in a band context. So you're already in a good place, um, that with the cab one as well, which I find, um, you know, we, we managed to get a cab that didn't have like loads of really like nasty, wumpy frequencies or high end sort of um, squeals or notches that you'd have to really, you, you know, get another EQ open to start taking out of like the guitar tone. Because that's kind of like half the battle with like guitar tone and stuff like that is, is finding all these like nasty frequencies within the distortion that you just don't want. The next thing I want to move on to is the solo. So let's take a look at some of the lead features on this amp. Um, I've pretty much got amp number two dialed in as like my first go-to lead, if you like. Um, so yeah, I've literally just opened up that and I'm just going to play it to you. So yeah, I mean, there's literally no additional processing on that. That's all in the plugin. So let's take a look at what we've got on the actual solo patch. Um, so looking at the stomp boxes, first of all, we've got the 808 on, uh, gains on about half, outputs on all the way up. The Revenant, we're not using it for this uh, particular sound. Um, we've got the 6505 model um, on there, EL34. Uh, pretty basic EQ, really. Um, nothing too drastic on there. And then uh, for the cab, we're using cab number two on here. And then for the effects, we've just got a bit of delay and reverb. Um, so yeah, let's see how that sounds with everything else. <laughs> 